you see here and going going the other direction east as well are all new genetic trees that have been discovered and brought to our attention. Hi, talking about new genetics. This row you see here and going going the other direction east as well are all new genetic trees that have been discovered and brought to our attention. Right here, these, these three right here, they are a genetic chestnut that grew wild. We are sure the seed came from our genetics because when we bring it in every fall, the mice and the rodents are in there grabbing them. And a property of 20 acres that had no walnut at all have walnuts now over the last 15 years everywhere growing. And, and we uncovered this walnut tree uh, from a bunch of weeds and, and uh, uh, pallets and stuff. And it was growing and I took one look at it and I said, this is unique. Uh, now we've been watching it for four years. It's showing all the characteristics of the original Purdue patented walnut tree. It is growing as straight as an arrow. It corrects itself when it grows crooked. It is producing uh, uh, now walnuts uh, the two out of three years uh, since, we, since we saw walnuts on it. Uh, it's got them on it again this year. It skipped last year, the year before. As a young little tree, we're estimating only four years old. It had 100 nuts on it. The tree is incredible. Um, it's probably now close to 25, maybe 30 foot tall. Just one stem going straight up. So we've cloned that tree. We've got it in trials now. Uh, we've done the same thing with the chestnut that was brought to our attention that um, they're saying it just keeps producing over a long period of time not just a couple of weeks they're talking maybe two months it just keeps producing it's possible that it's a double producer and what i mean by that is it has a crop and then it has another crop that that may or may not be a good thing i mean it's a good thing if it's just producing chestnuts but but whether it's producing twice a year instead of once a year what does that mean totally in the total crop? We need to do some research in that area and I'm hoping to start doing that very soon. We've identified uh, some trees that do that. This may be another one or it may just be a long-term dropper. Um, down the row here, we've got some really neat oak trees that we're um, uh, looking at now. One is called Bodacious. In the nursery, we grew it this year uh, in our indoor uh, climate controlled environment incredible aggressive uh, grower um, a lot of times your white oaks will get six 12 inches and then kind of peter out this this tree uh, uh, from seed in a small little three inch by two inch pot is already two foot tall i mean it's incredible and then in our field trials um, we're looking at trees that may be coming back i mean these were done outside in the ground getting mother nature we're thinking some of those may be four or five foot tall in one growing season. We'll bear root those. They'll be available for market next year. We also have um, two uh, uh, new uh, chestnut trees from seed down there. Uh, we had four. Only two have survived. We started from seed. They were given to us by a customer. He's claiming a December drop. If this is the case, guys, we're talking earth shattering uh, world-changing idea about your food plot because if we can have our, our August our September October November and now a December drop chestnut if that really exists that's the Holy Grail